Project Grunt Baron's Crossroads in Unreal Engine 5. God. I would. Oh my. Dude, imagine if they did. Oh my God. They should fucking do a WoW 2 like this. That would be so fucking cool. You know, there's so many MMOs out. I don't care if I'm a WoW fanboy. There's so many MMOs out, you know, none of them will ever make or hit what WoW made you feel. If they fucking just did a WoW 2 and follow their usual formula, just like fucking enhanced in this way, that, yeah, might as well, whatever. Like, that'd be fucking insane. Hey, wait, what is this? Project Grunt? Is this guy, like... Is this guy just trying to recreate WoW in the UE5, or...? How Destiny does Destiny 2. Just do that, but, like, a massive change. Fucking insane upgrade. Everything just enhanced. I want to say it's the nostalgia. The armor in WoW, the races in WoW, the world of WoW. It's like such a fucking... Sure, a lot of it can, can be nostalgia or whatever you want to call it, but... They already got all that shit down. There's no other MMO that has such a... recognizable world. With like... landmarks that are... So memorable. Sure, like RuneScape or some shit. That's fucking insane, dude. Wait, he did Orgrimmar as well? That's crazy, dude. I, I wish. Dark Portal, uh... I'm not gonna watch all these. I mean, it looks like he added a bunch of shit. Does what Dark Portal look like? I don't remember that. Yeah, they should take it one step out at a time. Just do like a reboot WoW. Maybe not vanilla. You could do vanilla WoW. <coughs> All this fucking enhanced looking like this. Oh! Fuck, man. They would never do that, though. Look at the draw distance. Yeah, well, dude, this is like one dude, and this is a fan project. If they did this, all these other fucking MMOs suck balls. Orgrimmar Remake? He did an Orgrimmar Remake? Wait, uh... Full Gate. Oh, these were ones in 1080-60. Holy shit. Like, imagine... All the players in there and shit. Maybe zoom out the camera a little more, you know? Fuck. Ah. 
It's kind of amazing how much... This is a uh, new Orgrimmar, right? That's why there's, like, scaffolds and shit. I think what's also... He made it super immersive. Like, he added all the NPCs and shit. I hope in my lifetime this, that sh something like this happens. I don't think so, though. This would never happen. have a PC to run it? I don't know. Shit, dude. Wait, he did Stormwind? No. I think those were the main videos. Yeah, everything else. He just released these not long ago, so... Fuck. Ugh, this will never happen. Uh, Witcher 4 in Unreal Engine 5. The thing is, Witcher was like a really good game when it came out, so like this is like still seeing this as an Unreal Engine, I mean it was already a good looking game, you know. Seeing something like the way WoW looks going to Unreal Engine is like the dream. This is a sick environment. Was that Mads McKelson? Mickelson look like Mads. I mean, th this looks incredible, but it doesn't have the same feel. I think I think the biggest thing about this video it shows how ridiculous the new Witcher game will look in Unreal Engine Five. You know, because you're going to have the talent of that studio, despite what they did with Cyberpunk, working on that engine. Is there like any, there's really no big fantasy game dropping. God of War is the only big fantasy game dropping. Sure, Harry Potter, I'm excited for Harry Potter, Final Fantasy 16. All right, I guess I'm wrong, never mind. All right, never mind, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Those are gonna be good wines. Is this guy 
try to make like a full game or something? God of War, fucking, um, Final Fantasy 16. I don't know what else. I saw Ark Raiders. I don't know if this is gonna be... It'll be interesting to see if they pull this off. They weren't at the Summer Games Fest. Which was kind of weird. This game could be good. It looks good. Kings. Barons. Queens. We give them different names, but they're all the same. The bosses look like they could be Killing sick. Killing machines falling from the sky. This is our home. Our bastion of resistance. This I don't... is where the brave meets the bold. We will not die in the shadows. We will face our fears head on i heard avowed is having issues they're still trying to hire people for about i don't know this game's kind of weird it's hard to tell if it's gonna be good watch it scout ahead like, what they're showing looks cool, but it's not enough. Like, if, it would be sick to fight shit like that. You see the parts blow off. Like, it looks sick. New contact. Breaking orbit. Southern Rust Belt. They will never stop coming. But yeah, they didn't show any of this at Summer Games Fest. Green calling for volunteers. Enlist. Resist. I mean, I hope they pull it off just because, like, the way the bosses look, it look has like that. It has like that real vibe to it, like the. It, I hope I hope this game actually pulls off, because like even the way the monsters look or the bosses look, they look fucking crazy. Like they look satisfying. Like, what if there was a Monster Hunter style game like this, where like you that had bosses that look like this, and you like actually can break parts off? You know, like it has like a very real look to it. I wonder. I don't know if that's what they're trying to go with here. They did show in the trailer like a bunch of different big bosses to fight, so. It looks more it looks way more satisfying to kill shit like this. <clears throat> I like Monster Hunter. I just think Monster Hunter has like a little bit of clunk and shit UI about it. That's the biggest problem with Monster Hunter. I mean, it's a great game. I'm just like, you know. Yeah. 